everybody, this is Ted Forbes from The Art of Photography, and I wanna do a follow-up video to a video I posted yesterday. And this video I did yesterday, I'll link up to it at the end of this show, uh, it was entitled, What Would Ouija Do? And I tackled a subject that we really haven't done a whole lot of on the show before, which is the whole idea of self-promotion. How do you get eyes on your work? How do you promote your own work? And I think one of the biggest challenges that I have on this is that you know, I know that there's a wide range of different styles represented by photographers, by you guys who watch this show. Um, you and I may not do the same thing, and then I think everybody else is a little bit different. So I turned the discussion around in that video, and I asked you guys to leave me comments. And I have to say, I was extremely impressed. This was the best set of comments I've ever seen on YouTube, which, as you know, is kind of a little squirrely sometimes. Um, but anyway, I was really excited about this, and, you know, my idea is that I wanted to, and I told somebody in a comment, I wanted to come back and address some of the questions and concerns that people had and it kind of got to where there were so many and such a wide range of them uh you know it's gonna be hard to hit everything and i got to thinking about it i thought you know it might be kind of cool if we started this as a little sub series on the show and so maybe once a week we could do an art of photography pro edition where we talk about self-promotion um you know how to promote your work how to get your stuff seen it was really interesting. And what I want to do today, you know, we'll do that coming up. Uh, but today I kind of went through and I, through the comments and I just wrote down some bullet points of some, you know, things that I'm commonly hearing that I kind of wanted to address. And a lot of the things that I'm reading this, a lot of things I, that I hear people saying, um, you know, for instance, self-promotion is a lot of work. Well, yes, it is. Uh, self-promotion isn't natural. And I agree with that too. Self-promotion is very unnatural a lot of the time. And, you know, uh, it's hard and it's a whole different mindset to get in. And if you want want to get your work out if you want people to see it uh, particularly if you are interested in photography as a living it's just something you're really going to have to work on um, another one there's no desire to compete with the masses and I want to come back around to this because there's a couple in here uh, and I understand that is frustrating when, when there's a lot of photographers out there there's a lot of images out there you know, competition is, it, you know, who, who wants to mess with that? It, it is very frustrating and, uh, you know, a little disheartening sometimes. Um, social media is overcrowded. That's one I hear a lot. Uh, competing with the cat photos. There were several people who had mentioned that. Um, a couple of people mentioned that they're still trying to find their identity as photographers. And I'm going to come back around to this, too. Um, this was an interesting one, too. The fear of becoming arrogant. Um, you know, when you think of self-promotion and talking about your work a lot, um, being afraid of being one of those people who has kind of a big ego and I think that's a legitimate concern uh, and then here's another big one you hear a lot is you know people want free work and you know, these are all very different, and that's why I think it would be really cool to do a small series of videos that we do, you know, once a week talking about some of these things, uh, You just kind of a pro edition of the show, because it's something we really haven't addressed. I do a lot of photo history on here. Uh, we do a lot of analog techniques. We've looked at cameras, stuff like that, a lot of famous photographers. And, you know, this is a different kind of subject, and it might be fun to come back and address from time to time. Um, but, you know, all this to say in general, yes, I know social media is crowded. I know that, you know, finding your identity is sometimes really difficult. Well, that's difficult for everybody, even, you know, famous photographers who are associated with a specific style and identity. Um, you know, it, it's really hard for you to ever determine that you've arrived at this point. And, you know, it's that process of working. And so it's really difficult, uh, especially in terms of like a career or something like that, just to wait for that to happen. I don't think that's important. Uh, one of the things that you want to remember is a couple points I want to make based on the comments that I'm hearing. Uh, first of all, you don't have to be famous to be successful. That is a huge myth, and I think that that is really, uh, you know, if you don't hear anything else that I'm saying out of here, remember that you don't have to be famous to be successful. I've known a lot of people in the arts um, who are not big names, who have had very nice careers, who have done very well financially, um, who have gotten their work in front of the right people, and that is a big key. Um, you know, a lot of people complain about the fact everybody just wants free work all the time. Well, if somebody wants free work, you've clearly are getting in front of the wrong people. And I'm sorry to be harsh about that. Um, and you can politely say, no, I'm sorry, I charge for my time. I mean, there's ways to, to be nice about that. Um, but it's really important to understand that, that, you know, success in photography is going to be equated by finding the people who, who have a need for what you do and getting your work in front of them and understanding it is really key. Um, that's a big deal. Um, to address some of the social media concerns, yes, social media is overcrowded and all that. 
the thing you remember you need to remember about social media is social media doesn't promote your work. Uh, I mean, it sort of does, but it, it's not going to do that inherently. It's going to promote you. And there's a big difference between that, even though they are the same thing. And I think one of the things that I see, uh, I've seen actual friends of mine do this and actually fail miserably, is when they get on social media and it's nothing but, here's what I did this week, here's a shoot I just finished, here's this, here's that, and they just like bombard you with examples of their work. And, you know, your friends, your parents, you know, people like that, your family, they're all going to like that and find that interesting. But it's really not um, a good use of the vehicle to try to get new work. But what is interesting is if you promote yourself as, you know, I hate the term thought leader, but, you know, if you are into photography and you post other things occasionally too and you have a conversation and and you provide not just your own work but things that maybe people are going to find uh, interesting on a much quicker level. Like, you know, you find a cool article or something, post that. Uh, there's somebody else's work you like, post that. Post what you're into. Um, make comments sometimes. Uh, you know, communicate with other people that are on whatever platform you're using, whether that's, you know, Facebook or, or uh, Twitter or Tumblr or whatever. That is a big key because that's how you're going to make friends on something like that. I remember who I heard say this recently, but it, it's kind of like, you know, uh, asking a girl to marry you on the first date. I mean, charm a girl, right? You know, you want to show your personality. You want to, you know, and then when you do put your own work up, people equate you and they're a little more warmed up to what you're like um, in the way you participate in social media. So I think that's a big deal. Uh, the other thing is don't worry about the masses. Yes, it is overpopulated. And there's a lot of junk up there, but don't compete with the junk. Just be better than it. And that's a big deal. Like, you know, I know there's a lot of the cat photos, for instance. Well, I'm not in the business of cat photos. I mean, I guess this is sort of a cat podcast because I have cats in the back sometimes. But, you know, that's a really important thing is, is just, just eliminate that from, from your thinking right now, that that's not what you're competing with they may be there and they may exist and that's fine but you're doing something different and remember you don't have to have millions of followers you don't have to have millions of likes you just need the right people to to have this conversation with and that's really important Uh, there's a sculptor uh, my friend Robert, I haven't seen in years, but uh, he did corporate sculpture, and he was not somebody who was famous. He wasn't in art museums, he, but he, he was really good at what he did, and he was able to get his work and go meet with the right people who would hire him when you know an architectural firm builds an office complex. They want some kind of sculpture on the plaza down there. He'd be the guy they'd, they'd go to to go do that, so he did something really well. He did it different, and he got his work in front of the right people, and that is really, really important. Um, you know, sure, it, it, it it's very flattering when you have lots of followers and lots of comments and things like that, but it's really important to remember that it's not the masses, it's the right people. So a couple of other interesting things I want to just mention here before we, we uh, wrap this up, but you know, participating and understanding the platform is really key too. Um, Flickr has changed over the years, and Flickr, when they did the redesign, as beautiful as it is, um, you know, the comments are crammed way down below the fold. The groups don't work the same way, and I think a lot of the interaction on Flickr has fallen off. However, when I first got on Flickr, and I'm using this as the example, you could substitute Twitter, Tumblr, whatever in here, Google Plus. Um, you know, I remember I was on there with a couple friends, and there's one guy that I knew that was immensely popular. He had a ton of followers. Everybody would always comment on his photos he put something up and he'd get you know 100 comments within the first day and I remember you know at first it was like you know this is really interesting because I mean no offense is why I'm not naming names but his work wasn't that good um it was a lot of weird HDR experiments and you know very nice stuff uh, you know sunsets and things like that there was nothing challenging about the work and I thought well you know I don't see it's obviously not offending people but why is it so popular well when you start realizing that he was using the platform in a different way, he was going in, he was commenting on other people's photos, he was making friends, he was starting discussions, and he was being a human being on there. And, you know, I I, I hate to say that, that Flickr at that time wasn't just about the work, but that's how social media works. And it's like just going to a party. If you whip out your portfolio, everybody's going to think, who's this nerd, you know? But if you go have some conversations with people, hey, I'm a photographer, what do you do? Uh, You know, I do this kind of stuff. And, hey, I'd like to see your work comes up eventually then it's more natural and it's more, I think you have more success with that. Um, Anyway, uh, Instagram is another interesting thing for me because, um, you know, not that I've had a tremendous amount of success on Instagram or anything, but I'm fascinated with the medium. Um, I have seen photographers go in there and start dumping their portfolio in and they're done in like two days and they go away and 
no one ever sees it. Well, Instagram is something to participate on, and it brings up another interesting thing because Instagram is not text-based, it's all image-based, and it works best with a mobile phone. So it's really interesting when I follow people and you see more behind the scenes, uh, you see maybe an image that means something special that was really just done for Instagram, and maybe there's a comment or two on there about what the image was or what it means or something like that. And so Instagram is particularly interesting for me on that regard. I have another friend right now who is a photographer, and she is actually working on, you know, her niche is going to be behind the scenes stuff. So she wants to work with photographers, uh, with filmmakers, people like that, and do more behind the scenes shooting with them. And I think this is a great idea. And Instagram is a great platform for that. So something to think about. Um, And then lastly, I want to say this, and I know that this is just kind of a barrage and a brain dump of stuff here. But I, I, there were two people who were talking about this whole idea or notion of make it versus fail. And I want to talk to that because I don't think that it's that black and white. I don't think there's a hard line between the two. Um, I think failing is pretty obvious when you don't participate, you don't get your work out there, you don't do something. Um, and there are experiences and possibilities that come up that you're not going to be privy to because you're just not participating. You're not out there. I don't think it's a hard line between that and making it. Um, I think making it is a long road, and what is making it, really? I mean, I remember when I was a kid, and I wanted to be a guitar player when I grew up, and so when I was in high school, I played guitar, and I was in jazz bands and stuff like that. And, you know, it was always this, you know, you want to make it, especially when you did rock bands with people because the whole dream was to get signed by a record label and you tour the world. Well, it's funny now as an adult, if you look back at a lot of those rock stars from the 80s, and some of them are actually struggling financially now, there was no making it. It was a big party at the time. Um, That has nothing to do with photography in some ways. But, uh, you know, I think the message here is that enjoy the making it. Making it is a process. And start small with smaller goals. Just say, you know, I... I think it's really important to embrace platforms like Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, 500px, whatever it is. Pick one um, and start there and come up with a small doable goal for yourself where it's like, okay, I'm going to put some images up. I'm going to go find five other photographers on here that I like. I'm going to tell them that I like their work. I'm going to reach out. Uh, Don't be salesy. Just, Just participate. And maybe that's a small goal and that leads somewhere else. And then maybe you add some other social platform or a new challenge in there for yourself. And those are small and I know we're talking a lot about social media there was a guy who left a comment on here that was great um and sorry, I didn't, uh, I'm not looking at the right screen here. But anyway, to paraphrase what he was saying is that, you know, he had gone to one of his local coffee shops and told the owner that, you know, he wanted to do a show. The owner said, great. They advertised it. And it did okay. And, you know, he had some success off of it. And I think that's an awesome story. That is a milestone. That's something that you've done. Now do it again. And do it again. And do it again. And keep going. And see if you can get that snowball going. Um, promotion and self-promotion, as I said in the beginning, it is hard. It's not natural. And I will be honest with you, it's a grind. And I've done it a lot with this show and to a little bit lesser extent with my photography, which is something that I'm going to be changing in the next year here. Um, it's a grind. It's going to be tiring. There's a lot to do. Um, and you just have to work through all that. Um, celebrate the small accomplishments and the small achievements and look towards the future for the next thing. That is what's going to start getting you success. And I know that there's a wide range of what we all define as success. Some people want to make their living as a photographer. Some people want to shoot celebrities and be famous. Some people just want to participate on social media and have an interesting story to tell. Some people want to tell their story. Um, You know, I I guess for what I've done, and and I'm going to equate this to this show, is that I've had opportunities for things and met people and had experiences that really don't have anything to do with fame or money. Uh, In fact, they have nothing to do with fame or money. But I would not have had those experiences and met those people if I had not done this show. And so I, you know, you can use that as an example. But, you know, that's that's what it is, is there's so much out there and it can be on whatever level you want that to be. But you have to participate to do it. Um, I hope this has helped somewhat. I'm really serious about doing this um, Art of Photography Pro Edition. And maybe we just do it on Mondays or something once a week. Um, But we can address some of these more specifically. I feel like today was just kind of a brain dump because it was a reaction to a big dump of comments I got yesterday, which were fabulous. And I was really excited to see that because a lot of times people don't participate in that way or... 
I think more importantly, there are a lot of people that shared stories that were really pretty personal, and I thank you for doing that in public, and it helps me to cater this show to you guys better. Um, so we'll continue on with the next video, but uh, you know, if you guys are interested in this, I think that would be kind of a cool thing to add to the mix. You know, we could do a new show once a week that's just talking about you know pro stuff, and we can break it down and just talk about maybe Flickr one day, or talk about Twitter or what we're doing, and look at look at examples of what people are being successful with on those. Anyway, all that to say, it's been another episode of The Art of Photography. I'll see you guys in the next show. Later.